channel. Thank you for joining me. Uh, so I traded a chainsaw for this Farmall C Cub tractor straight up and um, it rolled off a trailer and the engine's supposed to be locked up. And um, yeah, so I thought it'd be a perfect first time experience type job, pretty easy for me to do for someone who's never done this stuff before, but let's take a look around and see what we got. The guy said they had it for five or six years in use. They loaded it on a trailer, it rolled off, and then it sat for a few years. Engine has water in it. I have to drain that out, but just going around it, you can see there's a big dent in the hood here. Big dent in the the breather cap I guess this is kind of what that is it comes up from the carb there you know I'm not a mechanic I don't know this stuff gas tank actually looks pretty good I did pop that open um, radiator cap you know I was on marketplace one night and it was late I had some soda pops and stuff and the guy said willing to trade so I figured I'd take my chainsaw out and see if he would do it, and he did. So, uh, but it's complete. The whole thing's complete. You can see in there the sediment bowl. Uh, this has been welded on the exhaust manifold. If you look down in there, you don't even have to look down, but you can see the, the water. Um, this is your radiator overflow hose uh the seat the seat's been up tires are in good shape actually they're in really good shape they're not dry rotted they look pretty new does come with this woods 59 belly motor mower and i have all the components for that it's got the light in the rear pto and from what i've been studying this is your PTO. We'll get into all this later. Battery there. Black is positive. Red is ground. Got our little storage container here. Let's see. Uh, how do we do this here? got some tools and stuff in there might have to go through there see what we got that's neat you can see it has been sitting a while see all the moss oh the seat definitely gonna have to do something with that bracket down there you can see it bent on both sides and the steering wheel might be something I have to buy new just the way it's bent I hope no one was on this when it rolled over the shaft for the steering and everything like that seems in good shape. The pedals do need a little, I mean, the brake is rubbing up against the clutch there. So, and this, I got to, I'm going to give a lot of components some good croil oil and stuff. And I'd like to get this seat off just in the meantime. Uh, got an AC, or no, it's a Delco. Remy starter and then there's your points and condenser it's a four cylinder nine horsepower tractor lots of oil near I guess what is this is called the bell housing transmission all that stuff so what I'm doing today is I'm going to drain the water out of this any way I can you got oil pressure gauge right there. That's neat. Um, and probably take the hood off and all that stuff. Get the water drained out. And actually, I might not spray stuff. I might take the seat off. But tomorrow's going to be a little bit warmer. I'd like to get this all pressure washed. Again, you know, we got grease fittings and stuff. We're going to see if they accept grease or not. If not, we'll go through that. I'll get the main components mechanically. I can probably get this thing running, but like I said, I've never done this before. Belt looks brand new. Battery is from, was installed April 
2017, I believe, if you look at the date code. March, April's knocked out one in the seven. So 17. And yeah, I mean, it's going to need some work, but why not, you know? Why not try to get running? I don't know if this guy would have ever done anything more than this or if someone else would have actually paid the money for it, but... You know, idea is to get this operational running again and go from there. All emptied out. Here's some of the cool contents I found. Tools, you know, U-bolts, bolts, cotter pins, spring, electrical tape, just, you know, zip ties. Pretty cool. I mean, obviously someone who used it, I, I think... This is kind of cool because I think I purchased this at just the right time. I think this was about to be a goner and maybe we can't bring it back around and get it back out there whether I keep it or it goes to a new home. Either way, I'd like to get this thing fixed up. So let's remove this hood and get started on that. So from what I can tell, we're going to take these caps off. The lights should come off. Might just have to disconnect them right here at that wire which actually runs in front of the radiator this screen comes off there's just a couple of flathead screws down there and then there's four screws back up in there i know it's kind of hard to see but one two three four and then the gas tank and stuff should come off so i'll have to take that sediment bowl off first i think and disconnect that gas line and then we should be good to start removal so here we go so we got the hood removed here's what we're looking at like I said this manifold has been welded a few times you got water sitting in here uh, spark plugs look pretty old so I'm gonna spray those down try to figure out a way to get the water out of here here's the dipstick And we got gas, water, sludge, everything you could ever dream of. But I did find something cool sitting on the radiator. I found this. I don't know if it'll focus in. Westmoreland 210-1964 County PA. So I wonder what that tag means it was laying right here just sitting there pretty neat all right this is going to be my first attempt at draining the water out of here this is the bottom of the radiator this is where the bottom hose comes top hose is up here i threw some wd-40 on this so let's see if we get anything Alright, get some coolant.
Oh, well, it means the radiator's holding coolant. While we wait for this, I found a toothbrush. That was sitting in there. Clean off around these spark plugs here. All right, we're going to pull this oil plug. Hopefully water comes out. I'm going to try and let it trickle out. Just going to let it trickle. And I'm doing this based on what other guys do on YouTube, guys that I watch. No nonsense, no how, vice grip garage. And uh, it intrigued me and wanted me to start doing this on my own. Obviously, it won't be a ton of projects like this yet, but you know, we'll roll through some. But this is all, this is something I picked up from No Nonsense, No How. Diesel Creek, which apparently that kid's from the Berg. He lives in an area out here. And I think these are good skills to have, so I'm just trying to challenge myself and if I could save some pieces of equipment or cars or whatever from going to the junkyard, well, I feel pretty good about myself. So while that drains out, I got all these labeled for the spark plug wires. I sprayed some stuff in there on all these, you know, for the valve cover, everything, for the manifold, carb. We're going to just keep going through this monster. Got the sludge. It's still coming out a little bit there. And I'm going to take the this out oil filter. You can drain it through this right here, I think. And then I might see if I can't just push some, pour some oil down there, push some more of the stuff out real quick. All right, so I pulled spark plug number four, and I really can't tell anything from it other than it is, you know, it looks a little bit nasty, that's for sure. So as for the water in that, uh, I just vacuumed out this, and it was just sitting all right there. I have not gotten water out of anywhere, loosened up this face plate right there, and didn't get anything seeping out. Okay, let's try cranking on this. No bueno. Okay, so we're going to remove this stuff here, hopefully, get everything out of the way so we can take this cover off. Might take the bottom 
plate of this bell housing out. I have this all soaking down with rust penetrating or penetrating oil and ATF. So <clears throat> hopefully we can break this thing loose. Cylinders are holding liquids, which is good, I think. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens here. on the flywheel let me know if you guys see any of these move get here oh. got a little movement I don't want to get too hard on any of this oh. Oh, there we go not gonna push my luck there but I hope you guys can see I think it moved I'm just reaching in where the starter goes and grabbing on with a long cry bar and see if I can't move that flywheel oh there we go got some more I'm gonna let it soak overnight. This is awesome. Uh, that was my biggest fear right there. We're not out of the woods yet, but I think we might be able to get this thing running. We got those valves cleaned up the best that we could. And I should probably do the whole top, but we'll see if we can't we'll see if we can't get this thing rotating. I got this exhaust manifold the best I could. You can see in there, there's still a lot of sludge, but I'll get that out. I will. Coming along here, boys and girls. Let's see if we can't get this thing to crank over. Some liquid wrench here. And then I'm just gonna spray under here really good. Let's see if we can't just keep working her loose here. Let's see what we get. All right, I'm gonna crank on the flywheel. You guys tell me if you see the cylinders move. Oh. We got it.
honing tool. We're gonna, I got one and four top dead center. I'm gonna take just a little bit of ATF, drop it down two and three, and coat the, the cylinder walls. Now we're gonna run this thing down, see what it does. Start right in here. much better overall I'm happy with how it came out so what I'm going to do is get these all kind of level there's some ATF acetone penetrating oil and let that soak another day As you can see, putting all new gaskets, the exhaust manifold gaskets, I have a new one down here for the valve cover, and then I have a new head gasket going on. We're going to get everything set here. I have number four, or number one, top dead center, so that should help us whenever we're figuring everything out. Um, yeah, so we're coming along. I'm going to jam this back together and go from there so I'm cleaning up the last head bolt I'm sure there's better methods but this seems to be working well I clean it up dip the threads in a little bit of motor oil then set it into the head that's what I've read is the best in a few different forums uh, new gasket on the head so let's get this thing done Turning out pretty well. They're going in pretty good. I'm just taking a little bit of motor oil, dipping it in, get a little, you know, it's like one in the morning. You ever hear that band Midnight Oil? I always sleep when I burn yeah, Something like that. I forget the words now. Great song now. I will torque these down. Might as well do that now. 45 foot pounds. I know on the older stuff it doesn't matter where you go with it, but you usually want to start in the middle, work your way out in an X pattern. So we'll we'll do something. You guys have seen the and puds torque wrench I got. So we're gonna use it, it goes up to 45 foot pounds. And I uh, give a little whirl here. All right. 
right, so I'm going to continue on and then we'll come back. Compression test, cylinder one. 75. Cylinder two. 60, 70, 60. Cylinder 3. That was the worst one. We're down at about eh, 30. Cylinder 4. Alright, got some super exciting news, so I didn't want to film this because I'm not an expert, but this coil was bad and everything inside with the points and stuff was bad in the, in the distributor block there. Um, so on the new one, on the new coil pack, I am getting electricity there out the points here now if you can see that but we are a sparking in there I know it's a little dark but here we go We got spark. So we just gotta add fuel. Alright, well most of the work's done on the tractor. I think we have it in running condition. Not gonna lie, I did throw a little starter fluid in it and it popped right off. I wish I would have videotaped that. But got my fuel line hooked up. We're gonna see if this thing can just fire off of straight fuel. We got spark, we got compression.
got the old girl back up and running now I do want to go through some things you know got a new cap here um, got new headlights put LED bulbs in those I did buy like I said I had to I had to get a new exhaust manifold new carburetor these are things that and then for I just need to get a new glass bowl which uh, worked out well these are things that just needed done and I was hoping to do as much as I could without buying anything to put a voltmeter on there but I mean other than a few things like that it's an original tractor I did have to put new a new point and condenser set in there and I had to get a new coil and I got a new coil wire and new spark plugs and a new starter so <laughs> I mean yes this thing should fire off but there were I've never done anything like this before and just doing the condenser and stuff it, it was pretty not hard but you know we got it done so in just case you're wondering this is all the snake oil I'm throwing at this thing gonna add this stuff mixed in with premium fuel I changed the oil and this is what I used changed the coolant this is what I used super tech put some of that in the engine oil also and then I'm gonna put that in the gas and uh, yeah so this thing's all wrapped up I'm making a wood seat for the time being because the other one the original seats bent up and I have to fix the bracket for it but she's a runner she sounds great and I'm stoked to have it um, thank you guys for watching this has been a very fun project for me and uh, I hope you guys can join me in the future when I start working on this this one which also needs a lot of work so thank you for watching please like share comment and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one later